Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is a gorgeous fall day. It is so beautiful out. It's 75, it's bright and sunny after a couple of days of rain. And I really was a little stumped on what to film this week because I've got a lot of really great stuff that's coming up. It's just, it's all two to three weeks away. So we're just kind of waiting on that. But I figured it's such a beautiful day. The trees are starting to turn. The goats have been stuck in their pen for a couple of days because it's been raining and I've been working a lot. So they need to get out and have a good forage. So I figure let's take the goats for a walk. We'll walk down the back side of the property, see if I can get them to follow us down there uh, for more than a couple of minutes. And let's go see what there is to see back there. Hey guys. Hi babies. They're all like, come on, we don't go out. Normally when I let them out, they all follow me, but they know that there's lots of delicious crispy leaves here. So they all ran for the ridge <laughs> and they are all happily munching away. I've got the goats up here to the top of the path, but I'm not sure that they feel at all inclined to follow me down. So we're just gonna go on a walk and if the goats follow, that's great. If not, well, they're having a great time browsing the front of the yard, but figured we'd take a walk down the path here and just kind of show you some of the stuff that I found down here. Um, so you can see there's a lot of sumac now that things are starting to die back a little because fall has started, we're getting some pretty colors. So I'm getting to see a lot more of what's down here, especially since uh, my neighbor had her uh, three wheelers creep down the path that I made. It made it a little wider and uh, really kind of opened things up. Oh, there we go. We have some followers. They're coming. Hi babies. Hello goodies. Okay. So, Still trying to figure out, I've got to actually take a picture. There's a um, plant that's right up here that I'm still trying to figure out what it is. It's got this spidery kind of seed head going here. And I'll have to, I'll have to look it up, use the Google lens. I found a lot more uh, black cap raspberry, the wild raspberries. There's tons of that back here. Uh, there is goldenrod that gets even bigger than the goldenrod up in the main field. So I'm wondering if there's a difference between the two because the other ones, they only get two feet high back here. They get, I mean, I'm five feet tall. So, hmm. Let's see, what else do we have back here? Oh, uh, there is hazel alder. And that is pretty cool. I don't know yet if, about its goat safety, but all the foliage is so high that I don't really think I have to worry about it, at least right now while they're out here munching with me. Uh, this is a pretty tree and it's hard to show it now. Oh, I, okay, I've got a couple of the berries here, but these berries are so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this. One last little pearly blue berry, and that is from this tree here called a silky dogwood had a few of you guys id that for me and i got confirmation from uh an amazing plant guy i don't even know what to call him he's a hippie plant guru permaculture expert uh rich giordano he's really awesome um, i also found i don't see evidence of them now so maybe they've all just kind of died back but there were grapes back here and i didn't get to pick any because i i missed their season so they were all going yucky and mushy by the time 
that I got down there, but getting a little closer down. We're going to go all the way to the river, maybe. I think maybe we will. We'll go all the way to the river. Now, what I'm looking for back here, and I'll have to look for it later, well, next year, really, is I'm looking for blueberry bushes. Like, this feels like there should be blueberry bushes in there. Wild blueberry. And yeah, the goats have followed me all the way down. All the goats are here, munching away. I'm going to take them all the way down to the river. Let's go sit by the river with the goats. There are so many bugs, though. <laughs> Not really bothered by the bugs. It's just they're, they're like the tiny no -see that fly in your eyes. That's what I don't like. So... Yeah, lots of goldenrod. We've got uh, down here a ton of Joe Pie weed, which I was surprised to find had some really gorgeous blooms. And I think the flowers are gone at this point, but there were some really awesome flowers down here called Cardinal Flower. Um, it was uh, red lobelia. Awesome. All right, now we're down here. Let's see what the goats make of the river. What do we think, guys? What do we think? They're like, what in the world? <laughs> like, well, we can't go any further that way or we're going to get our hooves wet. No! Holly says, no. And Sugar's like, wait, where's everybody going? <laughs> but hey, there's good snacks at the path opening. <laughs> Did you guys run all the way back up the top? Well, they totally peaced out and ran all the way back to the top. So let's go walk back up. <laughs> this back here, this is what floods when the river rises in spring. I haven't seen it even with the worst of the summer storms this year uh, come in and flood that area. But it floods there and then it floods an area of this path. Oh goodness, here they come. They're like, mom, 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 mom. <laughs> They're like, mom, we left you behind. We realized you were not with us. Cleo is the loudest of the twins. Well, it depends. If they're hungry, it's Mirabelle. If they are lonely, it's Cleo. <laughs> now I'm trying to walk up the path without stepping on goats. So the plan for back here has not changed too much. I still plan to fence off certain areas and just move the fences from time to time uh, so that they can clear all of this. But the problem there is getting fence through this thick brush when I don't have something to, to really take it down. So my solution there is gonna be cattle panels. I just have to get them here, so. Yeah, uh, none of the local tractor supplies have the eight foot panels that I can transport in my SUV. They all have just the 16 foot panels. So if I'm going to get them, I need to get in bulk. I need to get, you know, seven or eight panels all at once to make it worth renting the truck. And that uh, is a little cost prohibitive at the moment because we are still trying to get the heating system in. You can see behind me, there are still sort of some trails through here. Uh, there was like a snowmobile track that went around this circle, so things were kind of flattened. Uh, but now it's been a couple of years since uh, they've, they've ridden down there. Um, I'll let them ride back here this winter, I don't care. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I figure I'll just put some cattle panels in through that way, kind of drag them over and connect them, and we'll have like a 16 by 16 section, and then we can move that every few days as they eat things down. But they're definitely enjoying the cuisine at the moment, especially uh, you've got Holly, Sugar, and Honey there going to town. Oh, Sugar, you are wide load, girl. 
No wonder your previous owner thought you, that you had been pregnant because you are a big girl. <laughs> Sugar here looks like uh, Stella did when she was ready to give birth to the twins. <laughs> well, the no see -ums got me. There were just entirely too many of those little black flies around my head. And there's still a bunch now. You may see a few fly in front of the camera, but it's not nearly as bad up here. Once we've got the brush cleared and some pasture plants out there, the bugs really shouldn't be nearly as much of a big deal. So I've got a couple of thoughts on what we're going to do there. Like I said, I'm going to try to save up and get a bunch of the cattle panels so that I can make an area back there for them and then just move it every day or every other day to give them some foraging space. Uh, until all of this goes away and then it's just a uh, wasteland for the winter. But like I said, we've got other projects that we've got to get done. So why did I not take you inside and show you stuff inside the house that's been done? Well, because nothing has changed. Um, everything inside the house is exactly the way it was the last time you guys saw it. Uh, although actually maybe the YouTube people have not seen phase one of the kitchen remodel. And uh, when I actually paint the cabinets, I'll go and I'll show you phase one of the kitchen remodel. It's not that big a deal. Well, sort of, it, it, it does make a very big impact on the house. So um, when I get my can of paint, I keep saying I'm gonna remember to go to Home Depot and get a can of paint so that I can paint that. Um, I will do that this weekend. <laughs> we'll get the paint and my next video, we'll paint the cabinet in there. We'll get everything all situated and you guys can see some remodeling done in the house. Uh, I have not done the windows just because for most of the summer it was 95 to 100 degrees. It was just hot, hot, hot here. I know for some of you you're like, oh 90 degrees, please, that's nothing. We get triple digits. And I know, but 90 is still hot and the silicone would not seal. So I've been waiting for some cooler weather. Also now I just want some cooler weather to work in. So it's 75 degrees today, which is nice, but in the sun, up against the aluminum, it, it does get a little hot. So I'm waiting for a nice cool morning in the 60s and I can get up there and uh, get some windows in. I'm gonna get one in my room and then we're gonna go into Arrow's room and start working on windows for her room because she's actually got one that's broken. So we're gonna work on that. Oh, hello, baby. Are you coming up to say hello? We have a Cleo. We'll see if she'll climb up in my lap or not. She's the only one still out. I put the rest in the barn because they were all getting up in my grill in the camera and I couldn't do anything at all. So now we've just got Miss Sweetness here who's come for some pets and some loving. Let's see. Hi, baby. Oh. She is my sweetest baby. <laughs> she says, hi, mama. Oh, I knew you guys would just like this minute of happy, happy goat lovin's, huh? Oh, sweet baby. Now, the other thing that I mentioned, and this is where all the money is going right now, is to the heating system. Uh, I actually, just this week, changed my whole plan for the heating system. Um, the propane is just, it's just getting more and more expensive. The cost of the unit has risen this year and I'm, um, yeah, it's, it's getting to be uh, cost prohibitive for putting it in. So I decided after getting some advice from a couple of people that I'm switching over to getting a pellet stove. Um, the wood stove is great, except that when I go to bed, if I don't get up in the middle of the night, once, maybe even twice, it's freezing by morning. Or if I have to leave and go to work for seven, eight hours, uh, it also just drops to about 40 degrees in the house and I can't have that. I can't have that. It was just too much of a pain in the butt last year when it was, when it was on, uh, like when it was burning and it was humming, uh, it was, it was fairly cozy. It wasn't super, super warm. It was far less efficient than the stove itself could be just because of the way it's set up. Because instead of being inside the unit, the wood stove was in a little room built off the back and we, you know, had to blow the hot air in through a window. 
The combination of the wood stove and the pellet stove should keep us nice and toasty through winter. I can come in and I can build up a fire and let the pellet stove take a break. And then the pellet stove can take over when the wood fire burns down. It's just going to be a nice tag team combo. I did briefly contemplate just relying on the pellet stove, um, just putting, a, you know, a, some drywall in and walling up that window into the alcove and uh, trying to retain a little more heat that way. But I really want to have the option of using that wood stove as a backup method because if the power goes out, the pellet stove isn't going to run. So having that wood stove to rely on in a pinch is definitely important. So we're going to put the, um, the covering on the window to keep the heat from going out that way. Uh, that room is okay insulated, but not great. So I just want to try and keep more of the heat inside the house if we can. And then if we need the wood stove, we've got it. I'm not doing a super expensive pellet stove. There's one at Lowe's for about 1100 that has an 80 pound hopper and uh, can heat up to 2000 square feet. Our house isn't even half of that. So it's definitely got the oomph to do the job. It's fully programmable, which I like because even if I'm not home, it's Wi-Fi connected. So I just have to hit it on my phone and the house can be nice and warm by the time I get home. So that's going to be awesome. So it's about $1,100 for the pellet stove. So I'm working on saving up for that now. And then the install, because the pipe can be rather expensive. Um, I've been told by a couple of people that it's probably uh, almost as expensive, if not more expensive than the unit itself to have it properly installed. And I know some people will be like, oh, you can install it yourself. You can do that. Um, this is one thing I'd rather have done by the professionals. Um, let's, let's not have me mess up and burn the house down. Um, so I've got a couple of ideas on where it's going to be, but I have someone coming out in a couple of weeks. They're going to do an estimate on the install. We're going to figure out exactly where it's going to go. So I'll let you guys know that's one of those things that's not happening for a few weeks. So I can't really talk about it that much because I don't, I don't really have all the details yet. Um, yeah, so right now is just a week or two of, well, I would say relaxation, but I'm, I'm working a lot. Well, yesterday and, and today I've, I was actually feeling really under the weather. Um, this walk has made me pretty tired, so I'm probably going to go lay down and edit this. But the main thing is I'm working a lot, so I'm not posting a lot on Facebook. I'm just doing one video a week for YouTube. We're just going to follow in this pattern for a little bit so that I can work and work and work every day and get enough for the, the pellet stove. So if you're not seeing me a lot on Facebook, that's where I am. I'm at work. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be goat breeding and winterization and all of that good stuff coming up soon. So, um, all right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.